testing is one of the key elements of, uh, of the Major League Baseball protocols. I think with the number, they've sought feedback from a ton of infectious disease specialists uh, throughout the country and have put a protocol in place that does its best to try to ensure everyone's health and well-being. And that includes a lot of testing for not only players, but staff. Um, and that, that testing will occur initially at an intake screen where every um, player and staff in the tier one and tier two that are effectively those that are um, involved in the day-to-day -day operations of um, either our major league camp or our um, alternate site camp will be tested uh, when they come in and they won't be allowed access to the facility until they clear that testing. And then once they're in, um, in it, within that group, there will be regular testing from that point on until we finish playing. We have talked with every um, high risk individual to have an individual conversation with them to explain um, the risks of returning the environment, the protocols that are in place um, to try to ensure health and well being for everyone, and then have given all of them the option of whether or not they would um, choose to participate. Right now, I don't, I'm not aware of any players that have chosen to opt out, and there have only been a couple of staff members that have um, chosen to opt out. But we would be fully supportive if anyone felt that they, this wasn't the right environment for them to, um, to not participate. But we've tried to work with each player individually to make sure that he would be prepared to go whenever it was that we would, we would start again. And our coaches and, again, our staff has put in a tremendous amount of time working with each player to make sure that's the case. Because you know, this isn't when we were when we start our activities on July 1st. That's not day one of spring training. That's the equivalent of day like 26 of spring training. So we're going to have to jump right into you know simulated games and things like that to be able to make sure we're ready for the start of the season. And we really do feel that our players and staff are ready to do that.